the well-known Black Jacket, a super serious face, and a pack of youngsters under command are the first three associations for the good old Arsene Wagner. Best known for his long 22-year managing career in Arsenal, he was not only the longest serving manager in the club's history, but also the most successful one. But how did he get into football? How did he end up in Arsenal? Where is he now? Yes, where exactly is Wenger now? Did he fall off the edge of the earth? Or is he still involved in the footballing scene? Let's find out now. But before we go forward, let's take a step back and learn a little more about this legendary Frenchman. While his career as Arsenal's manager is beyond legendary, not much is known of him as a player. Born in Strasbourg and raised in Dudelenheim, his father's love for football was what introduced Wenger to the sport. He broke into FC Duddlenheim's first team at the age of 16, and since the amateur team didn't have a coach to prepare the players, it was a perfect opportunity for the young Wenger to show his leadership skills and coordinate the team. He was not just a player, he was also a leader. He started his senior career in the third division club Mutzi. Even though he initially didn't plan on staying in football after his playing career, spending three years in this club allowed him to improve his tactical knowledge of the sport. Not only was he a footballer, but also a studious one. Wenger graduated with a degree from University of Strasbourg, majoring in economics and management sciences, while also playing for a semi-pro club at the same time. His footballing career was a modest one without any special highlights. But it will turn out that all these years of gaining knowledge and experience in the sport will be just an overture of what is about to come. And that will be his career as a football manager. Wenger started his coaching career with Nancy, and it proved to be a baptism of fire. He endured a tough start to his career, especially when the club sold several of their best players to avoid a financial predicament. It left Wenger with limited funds to work with, which ultimately saw Nancy finishing 19th and being relegated to the lower division. Following the unpleasant experience in Nancy, he joined Monaco in 1987, where he went on to win the league in his debut season. Three years later, Wenger guided Monaco to triumph in the Coup de France, and in 1995, made an unusual move to Japan to coach J-League side Nagoya Grampus 8 where he won the Emperor's Cup alongside the Japanese Super Cup, all within one year. And who would have thought that just one year later, he will make the move of his life, a move that will lead him to fame and glory, a move that will change English football history forever. Welcome to Arsenal, Arsene Wenger. Being a coach for Arsenal longer than Phil Leotardo was in jail in the Sopranos TV show speaks a lot, and there must be a good reason for that. We are talking about the highest level of competition. We are talking about a club with history, tradition, and a fan base all around the world. Who can forget all the epic matchup between Manchester United and Arsenal? The clash of the Titans during the seasons between 1998 to 2004, when both teams competed fiercely for the league title. Some fans would call this period the good old days of English football, because soon after, when billionaires enter the chat, the free flow of cash started coming in. Things will change forever. That being said, things started to change when Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich purchased Chelsea for 140 million pounds in 2003, followed by Sheikh Mansour buying Manchester City for 210 million in 2008. Now things became difficult for the French virtuoso leading Arsenal who did not have the kind of financial capacity to compete against the big spender. Nevertheless, despite the landscape change in English football and plastic fans jumping ship to support the popular clubs, Arsenal continued to finish in the top four and qualify for the Champions League. In fact, the Gunners will go on to play in the Champions League for 20 years straight under Arsene Wenger. Let's not forget, all that with a tight budget and young players who were basically taken out from the school chairs to the football pitches. He is and probably will remain the most successful coach to ever manage Arsenal. He won three Premier League titles, seven FA Cups, and seven Community Shields during his 22 years with Arsenal. But then, when Arsenal finished fifth in 2017 and sixth in 2018, 
fans started getting annoyed and disappointed, calling for Wenger to leave the club. The same guy who brought stability, titles, and success like nobody else before him. After 22 years of up and downs with Arsenal, he made the difficult decision to leave the club he loves the most. This leads to the question, where is Wenger now? After leaving Arsenal, many people started wondering what happened to Wenger? Where is he now? Is he enjoying his retirement? Chilling somewhere on a beach? Or has he withdrawn himself into somewhere where nobody knows him? To answer that question, Wenger is now overseeing a bigger picture in football in his role as FIFA's Chief of Global Football Development. This was probably the best move he could do after leaving Arsenal, because now he can do what he does best, inspiring young players, creating stars, and influencing their lives. In a report published by FIFA Global, Wenger stated that he is fighting for each member association, helping them to reach their full potentials, and on top of that, to give every player a chance. Wenger's mission is now to find a solution for every young potential talent to be discovered and given an equal chance as those who are fortunate to have a better footballing environment. He understood that there are many passionate football players around the world who remain undiscovered due to multiple reasons, including infrastructure, financial resources, or education. His goal is to find a way to reach those players, to inspire them, and give them a chance to prove themselves. In a recent interview for Telegraph, he did hint at a possible return to management. Even though he put his managing career to sleep and retired for good, there is still a chance that we might see the good old Wenger managing a team in the future. Wenger stated, there are always people who say, you are too old. So at the time, maybe I thought they were right, but I am in good shape and I haven't completely decided not to do it anymore. This leaves everyone clutching to the last hope that we might still see Wenger in a dugout in the near future. Whether he remains as FIFA's chief of global football development or return to management one last time, he will always hold his legendary status and be remembered as one of the best of all time. What he did for Arsenal is unmatched and he definitely deserves a statue there. What the future holds for him remains a mystery but as football fans, from the bottom of our hearts, we should all say thank you, Wenger, for everything that he did and is still doing for the sport. Do you think Arsene Wenger returning to managing a football team again? Comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more football content like this.